Oh, say can you seed. I'm the cat in the hat. And I think that you need to come and take a look at this thing called a seed. From the giant gum tree to this very small weed, every flowering plant started out as a seed. Plants are so useful to me and to you. Can you think of the ways? I will name a few. The paper for books and the cloth for your plants came from trees and from cotton. That's two kinds of plants. The grain and the fruits, the veggies you eat, why they come from plants too. And here's something neat. In deserts and woods and rainforests thick, grow plants that can make you feel well. Yeah, and they can make you sick. Plants serve us well and fill so many needs, and flowering plants all started as seeds. The best way for you to see what I mean is to take a close look at a seed called a bean. Just what is a seed, you are wondering, maybe? Well, you might say a seed is a tiny plant baby. Like all seeds, a bean comes in three different parts. Thing one, thing two. Please bring the charts. Part one is the first that I think you should know. It's the part of the baby called the embryo. To sprout, it needs food like you and I do, which brings us to seed part number two. It's called the cotyledon. Say, isn't that fun? This bean seed has two. See, one, two but others have one. Last comes the third part that you need to know. It's the coat which protects our cute bean embryo. To sprout a bean seed, keep it moist, but not wet. Keep it covered with dirt and then see what you get. In seven days or so comes the part I love. A root spreads below and a stem shoots above. Now, in order to show a grown bean plant to you, we've traveled in time for some months, maybe two. This thing about called thing two calls the part above the shoot system. Thing one calls the part underground a root system. To get a good look at the roots underground, it is better to make like a mole I have found. Roots are not pretty, they're twisty and hairy. And some roots even look a little bit scary. Roots anchor a plant and they help it stand true. Roots suck up water and minerals too. And roots keep the soil from washing away. That's pretty important, wouldn't you say? What is this root? What is this? A carrot. A carrot is a root. We've talked about roots and we've learned about them. Now it's time we moved on to the stem. The stem is a pipe through which the water shoots. It's absorbed through the soil and passed down through the roots. It shoots through the plant, and next you will see the leaves each turn into a food factory. Just like a rhino is protected with horns, the stem of a rose is protected with thorns. Leaves come in all shapes and all sizes, I found. Some small and some spiky, some big and some round. Narrow leaves, toothed edges, wavy broad flat leaves, lobed edges, smooth edges. But the thing that all leaves have in common is this, they make their own food by photosynthesis. I'll say this quite loudly, I don't mean to be rude, but plants are the only living thing on earth that make their own food. To do this, plants need water, minerals, and the sun. That's why the day times when food making is done. For your information and also for fun, hop on my shrink upper and let's see how it's done. The leaf takes in CO2 through the stoma or pore. It works like a mouth and that's what it's for. Then the air gets mixed in and the water and the sun and that's how the food fact making factory is run. I see by my clock that now is an hour to drop in and say hello to the flower. Plants breathe out a gas that we breathe in. The name of the gas is oxygen. Thing two has a chart he will share with you that shows all the parts of a flower I'll do. In a pistil are ovules. They're unfertilized seeds. The stamen holds pollen, which an ovule needs. 
An unfertilized oval will not ever grow, and the pollen's the stuff that will fix that, you know. A flower's own pollen, or another's, okay. That's where the bees play a role. To make honey, bees need to get the nectar from the flowers. They fly and they gather the sweet stuff for hours. The pollen sticks onto their bodies and legs, and it falls off sometimes and reaches the eggs. An ovule that's been fertilized will become a seed. Around it grows fruit upon which we feed. When we say the word fruit, do you know what that means? It means olives, nuts, grains, plantains, and tangerines, and apples and oranges and pineapples, too. All kinds of plant foods that are healthy for you. Some fruits are juicy and messy to munch on. Dry ones, like nuts, are nice to crunch on. Plants give us edible fruit. Some plants give us seeds that look cute or weird. But seeds are hitchhikers that ride on your clothes. And dandelion seeds sometimes fly up your nose. Some seeds come in pods that explode like in a seas. Other seeds may have wings. Yeah. Other seeds may have wings that can fly on a breeze. I see the sun setting and here comes the moon. Your mother is calling and dinner is soon. Seeds bring us life and now you know why. I hope you've learned from my little seed talk. And now I climb up a, this giant beanstalk. The end.